Yo, what's going on my people? Welcome back to the Live Capital YouTube channel where life is for the taking. It's the host himself, Ted Talk Money. And firstly, I hope you have been enjoying the past 24 hours because you know what you get over here? Another 24 hours of blessings. Today, my people, we're going to be doing an update on a coin that we haven't really talked about in a while. But in our lives, we truly do tend to discuss this hidden gem that most of the crypto market isn't aware of today we're going to be touching on a few different things of course government involvement with digital currencies is important and it's nothing to play around with what we're going to be looking at of course is constellation dag now throughout all of our channel we've been letting you our community know that this price that we're seeing here is very integral for when we're going to be backing up the truck. So today this might be a bit of a price analysis, but at the same time, we want you to have, of course, a better backing. If you're new to our community, it's really important that you understand that research, doing your own research is very important because that's going to solidify you in times of turbulence. We're in the crypto market, guys, so volatility is prevalent, but we're in an unregulated market, meaning that once the government's Again, government involvement is wrapped in this project comes to regulate this market will most likely see a reduction in volatility, but at the same time, real backing of actual global liquidity. So very important uh, time that we do find ourselves in. At the time of this recording, you could see that uh, that Constellation DAG has increased by in volume about 44 percent over the past 24 hours. So, like I said, we're going to be talking about Constellation DAG today, one of our favorite projects. I mean, I really enjoyed what they've done here with the hyper graph. But if you're new to this asset, we want you to understand and know that the debate. Department of Defense has a use case with this actual network with Constellation. They say it marks a significant milestone as one of the first completed blockchain phase two contracts within the government sector. This news dropped back in May of this year. The U.S. military eyed Constellation as a way to modernize the cybersecurity of its back end system. Huge. OK, again. The fact that we're obviously seeing that Constellation was chosen by the U.S. military. We don't really shill any coins over here. But again, we're looking at a Blockworks Real News edition that came into effect. And the thing is, Constellation DAG has been partnered with the Department of Defense since 2019. OK, uh, you can see the U.S. Air Force really was the one that really provided that. So them eyeing Constellation to modernize their security of data through their systems this phase two contract continued the research and development to evaluate the commercial potential of the platform increasing the deal size up to one million dollars the idea was to explore whether the blockchain could provide a secure way to effectively and efficiently transfer data across the defense transportation system or the DTS commercial airlift partners without sacrificing cost or speed. Very important, obviously, coming out from the senior cyber operations uh, analyst. But phase three is going to be looking at commercialization based on these previous phases without any limits to the contract's value. Constellation statement says its prototype was defense approved, which is really good for them for. And we're going to be looking at understanding how DOD contracts do work. But guys, this is great, great news. Again, if you're really a part of this, if you're really a part of the school of mind that says, hey, well, if the DOD is involved with with Constellation, shouldn't the price be $15 a coin? Again, go back to the words I told you that we are in a unregulated market. There is there. What we're really seeing is partnerships working behind the scenes, proof of concepts, pilots, but it's already determined who they're going to choose especially with Everment's government contracts moving into phase one, completion of phase two, and already a mapping out of phase three. So uh, the 
Chief Strata, the CSO from Constellation, said the contract proves the promises of what DLT can and will do moving forward. But this is a big part I want you all to see here. Data is paramount to federal communications. If you're new to our channel, we've been using this phrase, this this phrase that data is the new oil, basically meaning, you know, over the past couple decades, we've noticed that that oil uh, the actual commodity of oil is the most precious, precious commodity. But now moving forward in the middle of this industrial revolution, we're seeing that data is much more important to governments, much more important because, again, it's revealing how things are going to move. And of course, really in a digital age, almost everything is data. So refining how that data is shared has big potential to impact information in the modern era in this new digital age so knowing that the closer we can get to the source of data the cleaner the attribution is and the ability to secure end-to-end -end data pipelines that's really in essence what you're going to be seeing here constellation dag uh, their their real technology and what you're really investing in is called the hypergraph the hypergraph it's a tool that allows for web3 developers to encrypt authenticate handle data across various platforms they say the hgtp this hypergraph is to blockchain what the founders say HTTP is to the internet, a primary channel for data communication between servers and clients. Now let's look here, actually understanding how uh, Department of Defense contracts really do work. Whether you're a first timer or have worked with the DOD for years, DOD contracting is like nothing else you'll find in a industry or academia, nor will these contracts look exactly like contracting with any other entity in the federal government. Contracting even looks different between the services so that the rules and formats for similar procurement with the Army and the Air Force will be different enough to get you excluded for trying to use the format of one for the other. There. OK, again, guys, this is real business because we're talking about U.S. government data. OK, so in DOD contracting, every procurement will be different, different timelines, different missions, different funding types, different certifications, different instructions, different entry points. All of this needs to be considered different regulations. So some follow the federal uh, acquisition regulation and regulation or supplemental regulations and others ignore that altogether and find their foundation in astute alone such as then they call those other transactions if you want to be a six if you want a successful partnership with the dod you'll need to understand these differences and abide by them in proposing and winning contracts so again to go back to you right here as you all can see constellation has been working fully and rightly with the department of um, with the department of defense and finalizing those contracts of course so very good of course this is not the first time we've seen the u.s government really start pumping money in the blockchain this news came out in february how the u.s air force pumped about 30 million into a supply chain platform so this is a part here i want you guys to understand that what the hypergraph does and a bit more into how constellation works constellation is what's called a layer zero it's ran on a dag a direct acyclic graph so that pretty much means every one of these coins that you do hold is literally a part of the network okay it's not like how you know ethereum is like the gas that's used for the ETH network but these coins are literally the lifeblood in a sense of the whole network so this metagraph is basically um in a sense how you have the hypergraph used for data, used for a data transference. The metagraph would be, I guess, basically the blood or the meat or the ground level of how you would work. So developers can integrate the metagraph into legacy and modern applications, meaning if you have an interface from a previous banking, um, you know, if we're talking payments or we're talking uh, processing, excuse me, this metagraph can be integrated, enabling in-to-end -in service and deployment. The inherent interoperability 
of the Metagraph establishes a bridge for centralized systems looking to transition or incorporate these elements into their business model. So very, very good stuff. Everything that is really seen here with the Hypergraph. Hypergraph enables nearly infinite horizontal scalability of the network, enabling Metagraphs. Basically, these Metagraphs are eventually going to be coins that are made on the actual constellation work. So here's what I want to show you all as well. If you're not familiar with constellation is that their main net 2.0 did launch uh, at the end of last year. So what we're seeing now, of course, from the DOD moving forward with them this year, they're benefiting really off of this main net 2.0. The main net 2.0 is the evolution of the network that's going to be supporting those layer zero tokens. Basically, again, those metagraph tokens working. So you have upgrades to the library, dependency upgrades. There's going to be releases again on those layer zero token specifications, which is really important. Now, something that came out more in July was this about integration net. That's what they really launched. Uh, basically, this is again, they call it a major milestone in the evolution of Constellation. They have now this sustainable decentralized ecosystem. And what it's going to be doing is adding support then for those Metagraph tokens tokens is designed to accommodate about 300 nodes at the time of its its uh, the, of the writing of this but also basically changing how those rewards are going to be going for those nodes so for those who are participating in this node setup they say that we you know congratulations and you will be a part of this new integration net okay so very good stuff of course with all of the involvement with data these days, we can only expect to see a, a big increase once actually we have regulations coming here. Uh, let us know in the comments, of course, you know, we're not going to do any price predictions. Don't ask us about that. But again, to really see this thing, you all can see that uh, from launch about five years ago, this thing is still up about 200, about 2800 percent. So again, it's just really all a matter of time with these utility cryptos. I appreciate you making it to this part of the video be sure that you hit this hit a like uh, help us out with the like of course if you really enjoyed this if you felt it was informal uh, as well consider subscribing so you can have more updates about cryptocurrency we don't want it to be just some kind of crazy thing for you and you don't really can't you can't really understand it and as well use the links in our description so you can do more research into this before you do make an investment of course i appreciate you making it again to this part of the video stay tuned for some more uh, content with us, guys. I'll holla at you later. Peace.